Hello YouTube. Wanted to come out today and get a short ride in. And I wanted to do a review of the Shui GT Air 2. But I wanted to focus on the Cena 30K and how it installs in a helmet. There are a lot of reviews on the helmet itself about how nice it is, how quiet it is. But they want you to use the SLR2 system. And I've already had my scene. I've had more a few different helmets. I'm going to add some pictures in. But Shuey went through a big deal. Or a lot of work. See, if, see how that comes out. To make you not use it. So I had to use the adhesive backing. Because the screw backing wouldn't fit because of the integrated system they want you to use. Also, uh, let's see how this comes out. If not, I have to put a picture in. The mic doesn't go in front. It's not long enough with it being placed so far back. It wouldn't go to the front. The speakers are in there. I use spacers to get the speakers a little closer to my head. Overall, I'm happy with the helmet. I guess they call it the GT Air because it lets it lets in a lot of air. So it's uh it's about 70 degrees right now. Probably low 70s, upper 60s. It's gonna get up to 80 degrees later. And I've this is my fourth ride out with the helmet I've ridden when it was uh about 35 degrees. And today would be the warmest day that I've written in it. Overall, I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, in the beginning, I was very disappointed. <clears throat> my biggest concern, uh, or my, the reason why I bought a Shuey, one of my buddies told me, and everybody on the internet and all the reviews talk about how quiet the helmet is, how nice it is. It is a good build. Um, what I truly do like is the, what is it called? something lock the pin lock system so the pin lock is very nice on cold days when it's foggy when you would normally have condensation on your visor the visor stays clear the condensation builds up around the corners but also there are a ton of reviews in the pin lock system already um i wanted to focus on mounting i'm gonna put some pictures up of how i had to use the adhesive uh, backing versus the screw mount how the speakers rested in the uh, ports also with them making it for the integrated system there's some holes where that's where the speakers rest in i feel as though those holes allow a lot of air noise when you're riding how you doing, how you doing today you let me share me? the space with you you don't mind me yeah yeah i was gonna say you don't yeah, mind me not at all i move on down here i'm gonna all here Just try uh, to do a little bit of fishing how you doing today I'm doing fine. How you doing, sir? Just a heads up and finish up. Just doing a little recording on my helmet. Oh, okay, so, wait, So, but the uh, the speakers, the speaker holes allow a lot of air to come through. Um, but overall, I'm satisfied with it. I'm gonna talk next about uh, fitting. All right, I switched locations. I gave up my table I had the helmet on it for a family that was fishing. But uh, another concern that I had with the shoe GT Air 2 or any of the shoes, to be honest with you, was the size of the helmet. Uh, I've had five Scorpion helmets, and I've had the last three were all 3X helmets. And the Shoei, the Shoei only offers a 2X, but they say that their 2X can fit a 64 centimeter head. So I cut a string 64 centimeters long, don't laugh, put it on my head, and it actually fits. So I was like, I put it around the crown of my head. So this is supposed to be the inside of the helmet. And it actually fits. It actually it has more room than my last three Scorpion 3Xs. So the Shoei 2X can fit a rather large head like mine. So just wanted to add that in there for anyone having uh, been skeptical about whether or not a 2X will fit them. So I'm a pretty big guy. Got a big head with my big body. And the helmet fits and I have a lot of room around my ears. Even when I put the speakers in, I had to put the spacers in the back of the speaker to move it a little bit closer. And right now I'm still testing the helmet out. The helmet is a little loud. Uh, it is more comfortable with earplugs in. And I do ride the sport bike with earplugs a lot, but I don't ride the Harley with earplugs. But overall, 
Um, as far as my opinion on quietness, this, that Shoei isn't much more quieter than my Scorpion EXO 500 or the Scorpion GT 950 that I have. It, it is just as loud. I was expecting the helmet to be much quieter, and it's not. So that's all I got. Uh, wrapping up here. Thank you for watching. I got caught in the rain on a ride, and I wanted to put this clip in because the the pin lock system with the helmet performed very well. Uh, the only obstruction I had on the windshield or the, the wind visor or the face shield was from the rain itself. The inside of the helmet did not fog up at all. Uh, the pin lock system, as uh, previously reviewed by a lot of other people, performed very well, and uh, it. It was very clear outside of the rain and the dirt and the water that was on the, the visor itself. So I thought I would just add this clip in. Uh, this was, uh, I rode about 25 to 30 minutes in the rain, got caught in the rain on the ride home. So just wanted to throw it, throw it on in there.